Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. Did you guys ever wonder what materials are used for manufacturing truck bodies, aircraft, fuselage, etc? The first material that comes across our mind is steel, am I right? Well, it is correct, yet it is wrong. How? Let's find out. While it is correct that steel is a material used in manufacturing truck bodies and aircraft fuselage, it isn't completely correct. This is because a material manufactured from steel is also used for constructing them. This material is known as sheet metal and in today's video, we will discuss the several characteristics of this thin and flexible material which has been widely employed in industries today. Let's understand what sheet metal is. It is a thin and flat piece of metal which is produced through an industrial process. A large piece of iron is allowed to roll into a long ribbon of the desired thickness, producing a long and thin piece of sheet metal. This sheet metal is either rolled or cut into several pieces. Moving on to the characteristics of sheet metal, let's start with its material. Despite sheet metal being obtained as very thin sheets, it is not made of aluminium. Steel is used to manufacture sheet metals, and this steel is unpredictable and varies a lot. This variation depends on yield strength, impurities, and imperfections. For example, the label A36 has a yield strength of over 36,000 psi and a thickness of 0.0075 inches. This aids the manufacturers in choosing the sheet metal which is ideal for their job and to provide strong structures. There is a drawback to this. The A36 label means that the minimum yield strength is 36,000 psi. This means that a sheet metal with a yield strength of 41,000 psi can also be labeled A36. This increased strength can result in noticeable differences in the products manufactured using them. Therefore, a good knowledge of sheet metal characteristics is important for the manufacturer to produce uniform parts without a lot of many variations and weaknesses. Moving on, are you guys familiar with the saying measure twice, cut once? Well, it means that for obtaining greater precision and to avoid errors, one must make measurements twice before performing the operation. This is especially true for sheet metal operations. Wondering how and why? Well, there is no tool which predicts how a sheet metal will react to different conditions. In simple words, sheet metal operation may cause variations due to change in temperature, cutting method, and seal composition. Therefore, making measurements twice before cutting once can save time and material. Now, let's move on to the final sheet metal characteristic, which is math. Yes, you heard it right. Math is an important part for sheet metal operation. Besides knowing the yield strength required for manufacturing the product, the fabricator must also know the exact dimensions for the finished pieces. Furthermore, one must know the required temperature for heat cutting operations and the angles needed for obtaining the strongest bends. It can be a complex task to take all these numbers under consideration while manufacturing the required product. A sheet metal worker is required to have enough knowledge about the sheet metal so that he or she can understand whether a certain operation is performed such that it strengthens the product instead of weakening it. Well, that's all for today's video. During this session, we discussed the characteristics of sheet metal. In our future videos, we will explore further topics on sheet metal. If you are interested in performing automotive sheet metal design, we have a course which is perfect for you. In the course, you will be able to learn how to perform sheet metal designing using NXCAD. For further information about the course, check the link in the description below. This is Skilllink and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!